Hi, my name is Rich Hills. I'm the Operational Director for Africa and Asia Pacific Area for the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. Uh, I'm about to jump on a plane and go to India for a week to meet our staff and um, carry out some technical site visits. Um, so if you want to come with me, I'm going to jump on the plane now. I'm at Heathrow Airport and I'll turn the camera on in about nine hours uh, when I get to New Delhi. So uh, we're in Delhi and it's about half past three UK time and we're going to go through immigration. Great Delhi, great Delhi traffic, awesome. Uh, welcome to CWGC India. Uh, now the commission has uh, some 10 constructed sites around India uh, in most of the major cities. So New Delhi War Cemetery is actually in the heart of New Delhi, it's only about a kilometer or so from the airport uh, and as I pan round you can see it's quite a quite a large piece of estate we have um, and it's got approximately uh, 1100 um, casualties here. Hi, uh, very good afternoon. I am Tajinder Singh, head gunner of Delhi War Cemetery and we are four gunners in Delhi War Cemetery. My dream uh, is uh, to make this uh, place very beautiful that people can come here and feel joy, peace and uh, you know we can create value. So you can see behind me here this very large structure which is the gatehouse to the cemetery. It's, uh, it, but it also doubles up as the 1939 to 1945 uh, New Delhi War Memorial uh, and inside it um, is an enclosure with a secured um, area and inside that is a, is a roll of honour which commemorates 25 thousand casualties uh, from, from the war. As you can see it's, it's very secure. Sadly we've had a few attempted break-ins here recently and so the, the role of honour is kept under lock and key all day and people can access it if they want to see it and then at night time we, we remove it and we secure it elsewhere. Your papers are here on your right. Your papers are here on your right. So I'm here at India Gate uh, which is a, an enormous memorial uh, and monument in the centre of New Delhi. It's on the Raj Path, which is the uh, the ceremonial avenue which leads up to the Parliament building. It's effectively got three purposes. It's a, a national memorial, an Indian national memorial for um, 70,000 casualties uh, from undivided India who, who fought and died during the World Wars. It's also a point of commemoration for 13 and a half thousand names of soldiers, Indian soldiers who died during the First World War, whose graves lie west of the Indus River that are unmaintainable. But it also serves as a point of commemoration for all those Indian soldiers who, who fought and died on the northwest frontier, uh, but also during the Third Afghan War as well. So it's day three of our uh, week in India, and today we're having a, a training session on uh, works, how we maintain our structures and our sites and we're getting as many of the team involved as we can um, so we're getting the masons uh, and the head gardeners to stand up to, to talk about their experiences uh, and how they approach and tackle their projects lots of smiling faces yay photograph time so we arrived at uh, Pune airport uh, we've flown down to the southwest this is day four of our visits to India. So behind me you can see Kirky Wall Cemetery Pune. Um, it's in the army cantonment area of Pune city and we've got about 1600 commemorations here. But the site comes with its challenges. It's, it's right by a river um, and the water that we extract to irrigate the site is, is heavily um, polluted by minerals and other deposits and so the irrigation water that we use stains a lot of the stonework we have here. It's a constant battle to keep the stones clean, uh, to keep the memorials clean. Hi, my name is Sudhir Mane. I'm head gardener of Kirki War Cemetery. Kirki War Cemetery is a very big cemetery. Here, Second World War, 1,678 graves, also 18,000 plus uh, First World War graves in the panel, panel memorial. We're at Caldecott. Uh, municipal cemetery in Pune. Now the Commission had a project um, about 10 years ago to to renovate uh, and repair a lot of what are known as cantonment sites around India. So 
uh, many years ago, decades ago, the, the Commission abandoned these sites and they then took the commemoration to put them on memorials around India. Because the sites were hard to access, we had difficulties with church committees, um, sort of local rules and regulations, access to the sites, a whole variety of reasons. And the Commission's project started in about 2005. We began to reclaim these sites, get back in, rebuild them, renovate them, curb them, and so on and so forth. And this is a prime example of one of the sites we came in and renovated about four years ago uh, and built from scratch. It's a very functional site. All the good graves are curbed um, with the aggregate topping, um, new headstones, and it looks very smart. It's, um, it's a... Uh, in a very good condition compared to the rest of the cemetery, which is a civil cemetery, which as you can see it's, uh, it's not particularly well maintained. Um, and our little plot here at the back stands out very well. So this is, a, this is, this is an Indian cantonment site and there's, I think there's about 112 of these all, ar all around India, the whole country uh, that we've gone back into and, uh, and re-renovated. Okay. Okay. So snakes are come from this way, yeah. and this is a snake, a snake uh, hole. So snake, they are uh, sitting over here. Yeah, and you can actually see the the trail through the hmm. bushes as well. What yes. snake? What snake was it? It's a cobra. A cobra. And after that, that snake is come on the grave. Yeah. And it take sunburn. You can actually see the indent yes. on the grave, can't you? So that's it, we're back in the UK. It's Friday evening and that's the end of our, our week in India. And I hope you enjoyed the quick uh, tour around some of our sites and to see what we're doing with our staff this week.